Yeah, according to police and the sheriff's office, Lineberger approached that 22-year-old victim outside of a club just down the street from here. He threatened her with violence, then took her to his home five miles away. At this small house on Terracia Drive, a night of terror for a 22-year-old woman. Held against her will, police say, by a six foot four, 250 pound former professional boxer. But he was always to himself. He always said he wasn't a people person. Philip Williams is Lineberger's roommate. He lives in this home with four other people. A boarding house where the landlord rents out single rooms to tenants. Williams says Lineberger had lived here for about a month and was always very strange. Every night he was up like a. Uh, four or five o'clock in the morning early yesterday morning that strange behavior became serious according to the sheriff's office he held a woman in his bedroom for about three hours sexually assaulting her she was able to escape by texting her friends and using gps on her phone to tell them where she was they then contacted deputies when the victim knew help was on the way she started screaming we could hear a woman yelling and when we uh found exactly the the home that it was coming from we made forced entry that was close to six in the morning according to tampa police that ordeal started right here in front of the amphitheater club in ybor city it was 2 30 in the morning when that young woman was picked up by that former professional boxer police tell me lineberger was friendly at first he managed to get the victim away from her friends then changed his tune when he told her to get into his car Police and deputies say this could have been an even more horrible ending. He could have killed her. Uh, you know, this unfortunately was was one of the better scenarios. And we know Leinberger is a convicted sex offender. Like I said earlier, uh, he was convicted of an eerily similar crime in New York in 2007. And while he is a convicted sex offender, he had not registered the house he is living in. And that should be another charge that will be added to his already list of charges that he has right now as he's waiting at the Hillsborough County Jail. I'm reporting live in Ybor City, Clifton French, ABC Action News.